Marcus, how are you feeling? Better. Um, uh, better than I was. Some of the swelling has gone down. Um, still dealing with some, so just taking it day by day right now. Is it just the quad that's giving you trouble? I mean, you had a shoulder thing. You got beat up in day <laughs> one. Yeah, I did get beat up. Um, it's part of the game, but no, it's, it's just the quad, the fluid. Where I got hit was closer to the to the knee area in the quad, and um, so a lot of the fluid went to the knee and the restriction of it. So just trying to get the fluid off of there um, and get the quad back firing the way that it was. Um, it's really just take it, like I said, day by day. You know, the staff is doing a great job of uh, with treatment and, and you know um, exercises to do to help strengthen the quad and and get the blood flowing and things like that. So um, we just tested it today on the court. Uh, felt okay. I'm a little sore still. Like I said, I still have some fluid, so it's still restricting my movement a little bit. And we just go from there. You know, doing they doing everything they could can, and I'm doing everything on my part and my end to, to to get back on the court. Yeah. How difficult was it to sit out game two? It was very difficult. Uh, I was very, very antsy that whole day. Um, couldn't sleep. Couldn't even take a nap. Um, just wishing I was out there with my guys. And, and, you know, it's really tough. And my guys know. And anybody who knows me understands that, you know, if I'm going to miss a game, especially a playoff game, something's really got to be wrong with me. So it was, it was really tough from that aspect. But, you know, I have to listen to my body and, uh, and you know, do everything I can to get back out there. But I got to listen to my body in the same, same formation to that and, and allow my body to do what it does to heal. Was it, what did it mean to you to see the response from your guys? Loved it. I mean, it was expected. Uh, we came out flat the first game and, you know, give all credit to the Bucks. They did what they're supposed to do. Um, and, and, you know, us going on our home court, we couldn't go down 0 2. So, you know, it was expected for us to come out that way. I'm just proud of the way the guys responded. And I'm glad that, you know, everybody had a helping hand in that and it stepped up. Hey, Marcus, is this at all related to the quad? trouble you had earlier this year? Yes, yeah, literally the exact same one in the exact same spot. So it's just re-aggravating the same injury that I've been dealing with. Uh, um, and as we all know, you know, injuries like that, they kind of linger. Um, and you just try to do your best to, to, to make sure it doesn't happen as too often. Have you had MRIs taken of the spot and yeah, all that? Yeah, what, what do they show? Said everything's fine. Everything's working. It's just, you know, at the right amount of time, <laughs> the stars lined up at the right time, and mm -hmm. got hit in the right spot. So, um, like I said, it's just continue to do what I've always done when I get hit here, um, and allow this, this this staff to do their job and the treatment that they're giving me, and mm -hmm. staying as positive and, and pushing myself to get back on the court. What What's it like when you have to get down into a defensive stance, for example, into like a crouching position? Does that yeah, that that's hurt? that's where most of the uh, majority of it is, um, and is what's kind of keeping me back is because of that fluid on the knee that is restricting that movement to really bend down as um, as much as I need to, especially to be able to get into a defense stance and to be able to explode and push off. So um, it's kind of hard to go out there and play if you can't do that. So, like I said, once we can get the fluid up off of it, um, everything else will be all right. It's not. I mean, is it something that can get worse, or no, it's, you just play through? It? Just play through. It's literally just. Uh, it's like a Charlie horse in the quad. It's just, it's just a, I guess, over exaggerated one, <laughs> um, uh, and because of the spot of where it is, um, and and like I said, the fluid being in the area, you know, you want to be very very conscious of that. So, Marcus, what do you think of the job, Al? Grant did on Giannis, and you know, what are you seeing when they're guarding him out there, and what kind of things are you yelling out? I know you're a guy who likes to communicate from the sideline. If you are on the sideline, um, they're doing a phenomenal job. Awesome, you know, I'm very excited for those guys. Um, the way that they're they're stepping up and taking that challenge, and we all know that's that's not easy task, you know, uh, to be tasked up against Giannis, um, you know. But they're doing a great job, you know, as as we 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 expected them to. Um, we got confidence in those guys and everybody that's on the for floor to, in, in that position um, to step up to the challenge. Um, I, you know, it's a whole team doing it. 
everybody's stepping up, but those two in particular we're very proud of. And as they're going to continue to have to do that for us, and they're going to take everything that they have on every given night, on the game night, to go out there and, and sacrifice literally their bodies for the team. What's the key to slowing him? I know you guys threw some doubles at him in game one, and he kind of hurt you with the pass. One on one, it's tough to guard him. Like, what's the sweet spot you've kind of found looking at the film guarding him? Just really mixing it up. You know, you can't give a player like him a steady diet of anything. You know, he's too good of a player for that. So, you know, we just got to continue to to switch it up. You know, whenever you're on him, you do everything you can to make every shot he makes tough, every play he makes as tough as he can, and, and you live with the results. Marcy, you're obviously a guy that, like, always plays 110. Like, you're on the floor. How, how do you ensure that when you come back, you can still be that Marcus, as opposed to, like, oh, you know, I'm back, but I'm not doing the things that I usually do that make me such an impact player? I mean, for me, is if I'm out there, I should be able to do the things that I was doing, or I shouldn't be out there. So when I come back, um, I'm coming back to be me. And, and that's all I could really say about that, you know. And, and if I'm not out there, it's because I didn't feel like I was 100% to be out there to do the things that I'm supposed to be doing. And you obviously know your body and, and how you're feeling. What do you, what do you feel like is the likelihood for this weekend? Strong likelihood that I should be back for game three. Um, like I said, we're just dealing with we, the last part of, of it, and that's getting that, res that restriction off of the knee and the, the joint so I could be able to bend it and do that. Once, once that goes away, I should be able to be back to myself because everything else is, is healing up the right way, and, and that's the last part. So I just got to deal with it. Marcus, we have one Zoom question from John Corrales, who may have a couple questions for you. Thank you. Hey, Marcus, first, um, is, this, is this anything that would need to be drained no. from the knee? No. No. It's no. Nothing like that or that matter. Okay, two more. Um, Derek White, what did you see from Derek White out there filling in for you? Um, you've seen you've seen a savvy veteran guard who's been who's been around it and knows how to handle himself in the playoffs. You know, although he didn't score the ball or shoot the ball very effectively the way we, we and he himself expect, but he made plays in other ways to affect the game and impact the game. I think he was at a plus twenty two that as well with that. So um, his shot's going to fall. He's going to continue to 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 be himself, and that's just making everybody around him better. And, uh, you know, and we got confidence in him. And he has confidence in himself. He's working every day. And he knows he's been here before. And he, just to keep going, they're going to fall, take the open ones, shoot it with confidence. And after you guys, Giannis made a spin move. Um, you guys were able to force a turnover. On the sideline during a timeout, it seemed like you were talking to uh, Rob about how to defend that spin move. Is that, is that what, were you giving him pointers on, on where to be on the Giannis spin move? Look like you were kind of oh, like showing Oh, yeah. Him I was just telling him, charge. you know, just really telling him to, to embrace the bump, take the hit. You know, don't, don't be afraid to be physical. You know, Giannis is a physical player, so you have to take that bump and, uh, and just not give him that space. You know, you got to hold your ground. That's what, a, that's what Al and, and Grant does a good job very well at. So just telling Rob the same thing and, you know, trying to help him out on that end. Did you seriously consider wearing a robe on the sideline? <laughs> did, I, did I consider to wear a robe on the sideline? Yeah, I mean, what <laughs> no. you had on was kind of robe-like. <laughs> no, no, nah, nah, okay. I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> Secondly, the, the concept of playing on the road in the playoffs, and it's going to be a hostile environment. It was in Brooklyn, but this will be, I mean, does that galvanize you guys? Is that, I mean, is that something that motivates the best guys to want to quiet the crowd and play in an environment that's against you? I think so. I mean, uh, as a competitor, you know, to be able to go into somebody home court and, you know, take the life out of it is, is, is an awesome feeling. You know, they came and they did it here in game one. And, you know, uh, it's not going to be easy. We know that. And that's, that's what kind of makes that us versus everybody um, even more important because when you go in into that hostile environment, it's literally you and those 14 guys, coaching staff, and, you know, the team organization against everybody else, you know. So you got to have that mentality. You know, and you got to go out there and, you know, I, I look at it as like, you know, when you was a little kid, you know, you running from school, everybody got in fights. You know, a lot of us got jumped before. You know, my mom always told me, you know, if you, you outnumbered, you might as well be the first one to, to, to initiate and start the punch because you outnumbered. So you might as well take one with you. So that's how it is. You know, you got to go in and you got to be able to throw that punch first, uh, knowing that, you know, 
everybody's against you and you're going to have a battle on your hands. So it definitely feels good. And I think as a competitor and the, the good ones and the great ones, they enjoy it. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.